guys, this is Jeanette from China and this is the seventh episode of Sourcing from China. Many of you have sent me direct messages and asking me, hey Jeanette, could you please let me know what is the latest and trendy products to sell online? Actually, from a sourcing agent's perspective, this is a very big topic to address because the latest product does not mean it can be a trendy product. Well, for a trendy product, it does not mean that it is the latest product. It sounds like a tongue twister. As an online e-commerce business owner, the most important thing to consider is what product to sell and what kind of problem you're going to solve for your customer when they purchase this specific product from your shop. So after considering about all these, and then you can check with a sourcing agent to see what is the latest product that is available in the market to solve this specific problem. And currently, I'm in Huachangbei, the biggest electronics market in China. And today, I'm going to show you how I find the latest products and interesting products to sell. Okay, let's go. Huachangbei, located in Shenzhen, China, is the world's largest electronics market. Spanning over several blocks, this bustling hub attracts millions of buyers and sellers every year. From the latest gadgets to electronic components, Huachangbei offers a vast array of products at competitive prices, making it a go-to destination for e-commerce entrepreneurs and tech enthusiasts alike. With this vibrant atmosphere and endless opportunities, Huachangbei is truly a must-visit for anyone looking to source electronic products from China. Watch the other video of mine, which shows Hua Changbei during Chinese New Year. Now, let's look at some essential steps on how to source the latest and trendy products from China. Number one, do market research. With the latest technology such as ChatGPT, the research process is made simple. Also, browse social media platforms such as YouTube and TikTok for product videos with high views and comments. Additionally, check the popular e-commerce websites such as Alibaba, Amazon, and eBay to find the best sellers and their comment section for potential pain points. No matter which way you are using to do market research, please make sure that you are doing this research by yourself, because the key to success is to find a product that you are interested in selling in the first place. Let your passion drive your business. Number two, visit exhibition and trade shows. Attend events like Canton Fair or other industry-specific exhibitions in your country to discover new products and suppliers. Number three, develop good relationship with your suppliers. Building strong connections with your manufacturers can give you access to exclusive products, better pricing, and higher quality of products. Number four, stay updated with industry news. Follow industry news outlets to stay informed about the latest product releases and trends. Now, join me on a tour of Hua Changbei and discover the latest and interesting offerings in the market. There are some new products, especially for the phone case here. There are so many choices. In Hua Changbei, usually when they release a new product, some factory gonna put all the new products in a catalog and they print it out. Um, so sometimes when you search online, they probably have not put every product uh, online. But in the catalog or when you visit their factory or their shop, they're going to show you more products. So I just come across this yeah. shop, uh, this factory actually. And they have this, you know, different type of cameras for kids. And the price is very, you know, cost efficient. And all these cameras are suitable for children at the age of like uh, uh, four years old to uh, seven years old. Of course, the resolution of these cameras is not that high, so probably the maximum resolution is only seven, uh, 720 uh, pixels. But it's very good for the children to practice their shooting or photography skills. It's like a swimming pool. It's like the summer is coming, the kids can swim. And then, for example, if the kids have a bike, they can put it on the bike.
Now I'm in Huachangbei, there's some photography um, equipment selling center. I'm looking for the camera seller um, so that I can change the lens for one of my cameras. I just saw some very cool gimbals. Um, if you have a digital camera or just like me, you know, working around with your uh, mobile phones, and these are definitely something you can consider. And I heard this is one of the uh, famous brands in China. It is called Zhuyi. Uh, but for me, I mean, as a girl, I think this one is pretty heavy. It's around like uh, like one kg. But for me, I think this is a little bit like heavy, but they say this is the lightest one um, already. Each of these shops um, along the two sides uh, represent different companies and also represent different factories. And they can either have their own product or they can have collaboration with the factories. Um, you know, to produce, like to sell the factory's products or simply sell their own designer products. So there are many different ways of working together um, as a community. So I just got these uh, two catalogs from the booth and now I need to find a place to sit down and see what is available on these catalogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will make new one. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's no, okay. Really? Really? Okay, thank you. <laughs> the boss is very nice. He told me don't put sugar into this coffee. But, you know, I, I'm like a typical Chinese taste. I like sugar in my coffee. But the boss is going to bring me another coffee. After one round of walking, I have a better idea of what is the latest products that are available in the market. And it is very, very important to remain a good relationship with your supplier because if they like you, they'll always send you their latest catalog. So you can also have an advantage over other sellers in the market to have the, the newest products that are available in the market. Yeah, so this is the day tour in Huashangbei to discover the latest and the most trendy products to sell. I hope after watching this video, you will have a better idea in terms of what type of product you want to purchase and what kind of problem that you want to solve for your customer. Okay, if you have any sourcing requests, welcome to send me a message or contact us through the contact method in the description below. Okay, that's all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye-bye.